Actress Edna May Oliver was a big name in showbiz. She left a strong impression with her acting. One of her most famous roles was in Insert Title. She brought lots of emotion and charm to her characters, which really helped her career. While she did many great things, her work in Insert Title was really special. Tell us your favorite memories or stories about this classic actor below. We've got some interesting, surprising, and sad facts about her in this video. Edna May Oliver, an actress of her time, left a lasting impression on the film world, influencing it during her era and beyond. During her time, she showcased her versatility by playing various roles, from funny to serious ones, making her a highly sought-after talent. Her presence in Hollywood brought a unique energy, shaping the industry significantly. The characters she portrayed became iconic and influenced acting standards at the time. Her impact on Hollywood continues today, with her performances still captivating audiences. In conclusion, her influence on the film world is undeniable, shaping it for generations to come. In Drums Along the Mohawk, Mrs. Jeanette McLennar, played by Edna May Oliver, delivered a performance that made history in movies. Oliver's acting in the role got her an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress, showing her incredible talent. Even though the movie didn't get nominated for Best Picture that year, Oliver's acting lit up the screen, making her performance unforgettable. Her unique face became famous, even appearing in Warner Brothers cartoons of the 1930s. This recognition made her a well-known figure in the film industry. Although she only got nominated for an Oscar once, Oliver's influence went beyond awards. Through her acting, she made a lasting impression on movies, holding audiences' attention with her skill and charm. As Mrs. McLennar, she added depth and complexity to the character, showing how versatile she was as an actress. Her part in drums along the Mohawk not only improved the movie, but also secured her a place in movie history. Edna May Oliver's impact continues to inspire and entertain audiences, showing her lasting talent and influence in the film world. Known for her clever comedic style, she passed away on her birthday, November 9th. Actors Grant Mitchell and Franklin Pangborn were often seen at her gatherings, where laughter was abundant. She looked remarkably similar to Frances Sternhagen and shared her mannerisms and acting choices. With her funny talent and unique personality, she left a lasting impression on audiences. Her influence continues to inspire aspiring actors, showing the timeless appeal of her craft. This tribute, reflecting her impact, is Edna May Oliver, known for her roles in classic films like A Tale of Two Cities and Little Women, rests at Forest Lawn, California, USA, in the Great Mausoleum, Columbarium of Security. In A Tale of Two Cities, she portrayed Miss Pross alongside Bezel Rathbone and Elizabeth Allen under the direction of producer David O. Selznick. This same year, she also appeared in another Dickens adaptation, David Copperfield, with the same co-stars. Both films earned nominations for the Best Picture Academy Award. In Little Women, she assumed the role of Aunt March after the passing of Louise Closser Hale during filming. Despite the unexpected change, Oliver seamlessly took over the role. Her performances in these timeless adaptations solidified her place in cinematic history. In the realm of classic films, Edna May Oliver had some interesting family connections. She was linked to Presidents John Adams and John Quincy Adams through her ancestry. Notably, her father's stepfather, Samuel Oliver, had a family line that traced back to another John Adams. In her acting career, she appeared in five movies nominated for the Oscar Best Picture, including Cimarron, Little Women, David Copperfield, A Tale of Two Cities, and Romeo and Juliet. Among these, only Cimarron won the award. In the story of Vernon and Irene Castle, she portrayed Maggie Sutton. The character was inspired by Elizabeth Marbury, who managed the castles and was openly lesbian. Marbury's relationship with Elsie de Wolfe was notable, and censorship regulations led to changes in the film, reflecting an aspect of Oliver's career. Actress Edna May Oliver often played a frank aunt in her main movies. However, she changed this when she acted as nurse to Juliet in Romeo and Juliet. This decision led her to say no to Universal's offer to play her stage role of Parthi Ann Hawks in the film version of Showboat. The nurse character became her only Shakespearean role. Also, she was a direct descendant of John Quincy Adams. Her role as the nurse showed that she could play different roles, not just the ant type. This change allowed people to see another side of her acting talent, making her more interesting. Even though she could have played her famous stage role again in Showboat, she decided to try something new, showing she was willing to take risks and try new things. 
This choice made people see her as an actress who could play different roles well. Her family history added another interesting aspect to her life, suggesting it might have influenced her acting. Looking back, her role as nurse to Juliet shows how adaptable and wide-ranging her acting was, leaving a lasting impression on Shakespearean theater. Edna May Oliver's work goes beyond her usual roles, covering a range of characters that show her talent and influence on the movie industry. In Actresses of a Certain Character, 40 Familiar Hollywood Faces from the 30s to the 50s by Axel Nissen, you can find insights into the life and career of Edna May Oliver. She was born on November 9, 1883 in Malden, Massachusetts, and became known for her unique roles in Hollywood films. Starting in the 1910s, she quickly rose to prominence as an actress, particularly in the 1930s. Throughout the following decades, she became a familiar presence in many movies. Known for her sharp wit and strong personality, she left a lasting impression on audiences. The book explores her various roles and how she brought depth and authenticity to each character. It also discusses the challenges she faced in the entertainment industry. In summary, actresses of a certain character sheds light on Edna May Oliver's career, highlighting her significant impact on Hollywood during that era. It portrays her as an actress who made her mark through memorable performances from the 30s to the 50s. A lesser known fact about Edna May Oliver is that she played a crucial role in helping solve a real murder case. While filming one of her movies, a crew member was found dead under strange circumstances. Oliver, with her keen observational skills honed from years of acting, noticed some odd things at the crime scene. Her insights prompted the police to reopen the investigation, and they ultimately identified the true culprit, surprising many who only knew her as an actress. Born in 1883, Oliver was an American actress recognized for her unique voice and strong presence on screen. She starred in various films during the 1930s, often playing determined and outspoken characters. Despite her success in Hollywood, Oliver was a private person, preferring the company of close friends and family to the glitz of show business. Her career spanned both stage and screen, with notable roles in movies like Drums Along the Mohawk and David Copperfield. Oliver's performance as Aunt March in Little Women is particularly memorable, showing her talent in bringing even the sternest characters to life. Her deep voice and impeccable timing made her a favorite among audiences and critics. Behind the scenes, Oliver was known for her wit and intelligence, as well as her sharp sense of humor. She remained down to earth despite her fame, never letting it affect her. Sadly, Oliver passed away in 1942 at the age of 59, leaving behind a lasting impact on the industry. Her death was mourned by many in Hollywood who remembered her not only for her talent, but also for her kindness and generosity. Though she may be gone, her contributions to film continue to inspire audiences today.